Well, here's a new typewriter to me. It's a 1972 Wedgefield 200, which if you haven't heard of it, that's quite understandable. It uh, is actually a brother JP1 rebranded for Kmart in 1972. Um, they also sold these at Western Auto under the uh, name Wizard, I think, Wizard something. Uh, and I believe Montgomery Ward and uh, maybe uh, a couple other places sold these. But as you can see on the bottom here, hopefully, yeah, the... Um, the K logo, and then SS, SS uh, Kresge, Kresge Creek, something, however you say it. Um, Sebastian is what one of the S's stands for, I know that. And that was the, uh, the founder of the Kmart Corporation um, that went by just his name until uh, 1962 when they changed their official name on the stock exchange to Kmart. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold. Uh, but anyway, so that's that, kind of an, an interesting story with that. And this one came to me uh, from a friend who found it at a, a yard sale or something, I think. And it's just a nice, nice typewriter um, to be something so um, you know, off the radar, uh, it's all metal frame, you know, really solid, especially in a, during an era where it could quite easily have been, you know, plastic sides or top or, you know, whatever. So I would have no problems, uh, taking this anywhere really. And it feels solid enough to where, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem just typing away at it at home for as long as I felt like it. And it does have a closed bottom. So that's nice. That's a must for any typewriter that you're going to, you know, carry like a pizza and uh, deliver it to anybody. You know, put an anchovy down in there, you know, hit the thing and it springs out at uh, somebody, but uh, at any rate, well, let's see what we have here. Very nice, nice and smooth. I haven't done anything to this. Uh, hit it with the air gun probably, but you know, nothing else. Um, let's see. <laughs> nice little bell, good personality on the little bell. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice uh, print there. The alignment's not bad. You know, it's not perfect, but not bad either. Not bad at all. Um, so yeah, that's, that's this thing. Um, the, one of the things I like is that um, the keyboard has a really steep slant to it, like bleachers or something, which I really like. Um, I like to type really close to myself, and um, and it's not as easy on a on a flatter uh, keyboard. And then plus, if I just want to be lazy and have my wrists on the on the desk I could still get to everything pretty easily without without uh, you know feeling any tension on my carpal tunnel or anything and it's smooth it, it doesn't lock up I mean it just uh, it does what it's supposed to and it has a nice little nice little vibe to it there is a, a kind of a tinny resonance to the um, Kind of within the chassis, but I've got a typing pad under it that uh, none of that really um, bleeds into the table or resonates that or anything. 
So that's that's that. The 1972 Wedgefield 200. Okay, hope you enjoy. <laughs>